Who just walked into the room, out of the bedroom, the sensation. The teen idol sensation wearing a fucking leather coat to match. That's right. Joe DeRosa. Joe, how the fuck are you? Have a seat. I can't. I know you can't. Just have a seat. Say hello. Joe, you haven't been on the podcast forever. How are you? Remember, remember we used to do a radio show? I remember, Bill. Oh, Joe, those were the days we used to sing songs. We used to talk about things. Are Let you me tell you. fun out here? No, I'm not. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's hot as fuck. I've just been, I've been brutally unfunny. I'm hung over. This whole podcast, I've been just apologizing, shitting all over how unfunny. Was that till, like, I just told a story about playing hockey. And that, I think that that was mildly yeah, amusing. Singing, that made me laugh. Was I singing out here? I think so. Oh, you know what I was singing about? I was singing some guy. He was trying to figure out how to break up with his girl and not hurt her feelings. She's some girl. She's like depressed all the time. He has to keep her going. I mean, it's a no brainer. He's 23 years old, right? Yeah, Jesus, Joe. Yeah. 23 years old, Joe. The, the, everybody's a sensation at that age. Everybody. All right. But it is not that young man's responsibility to take on her problem. She's got to work those things out. And when she loves herself, then she can love you. Joe fucking DeRosa. That, I mean, that's, I was trying to get to that point for fucking 10 minutes. That's it. Joe, I don't, Joe you've had one girlfriend. So I've known you for eight years. Joe is the master of just not even getting into relationships. Or, or the, you're the master of, like, what, the three-week relationship? Uh, I usually go a couple months, yeah, something like that. I don't get too, uh, too serious, but I think I'm ready now. I think I'm moving into that. I want to. Joe, I serious. don't care about that. This isn't about you. <laughs> this isn't about you. It's about this guy. So yeah. two, two months in, that's got to be a small box of shit that you have to pack up when they come over to get their stuff. Am I wrong? I mean, I don't even think you owe a phone call at two months in. <laughs> You can do it over the phone in two months. I've done that. I've done that too. Oh, you do the fade away. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just disappear like Kevin Spacey walking down the street at the end of Usual Suspects. <laughs> just straighten the old leg out and off he goes. Off he goes. Where are you off to, Joe? I got a meeting at Atlantic Records there, Bill. Oh, the sensation. He's going over there. Joe, don't get. Now, don't walk in there and get all starstruck. With all those albums on the wall, okay? Nobody buys those anymore. You're walking into a dinosaur, Joe. They need you. That's right. Okay, let me hear you say it. I'll, I'll say you need me. You, you need me, Mr. Atlantic. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Atlantic Records. You, I'll say, uh, uh, you think I'm impressed? I got Bill Burr sitting on my couch, you yeah. cocksuckers. Yeah, that's how you start it. Exactly. Go Chevy Chase on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you when I get home, Bill. All right, Joseph. Hey, Joe, maybe we'll have a couple of pops before I go to the airport. No. Little hair of the dog there. Ah, oh, Christ. This is, you know, I really wanted to be healthy on this road trip, but this is one of these ones where you just say, you know, where you just have fucked up so bad, you just, you just end it like buzzed eating a pint of ice cream. Going, you know what, maybe the next one. I'd like to think that I maybe pulled this one out in the end, you know, talking about my love of hockey. How great is Joe DeRosa? Huh? You, you tell me that that guy just isn't a ray of sunshine. You know, that's why he's called the sensation. Joey Roses, he makes it fucking bloom.